Hi, my name is Steve from TDSFM and welcome to this tutorial where I'm going to model the Iron Man helmet uh, using blueprints, so reference pictures and polymodeling technique. Now, uh, for this model I will use, uh, let's say, the pure polymodeling technique where you always start with just one plane or one pulley instead of uh, using any primitive as a starting point. So, uh, by my tutorials I usually started from a box, cylinder there. Uh, so it was because uh, the shape uh, could be started from just uh, some this primitive like when I was doing the light but it was cylinder of course we uh, we wasn't in need to use the plane or just one poly to model that model but here uh, we have three views the side front and back and uh, really uh, using just the primitive for that will be just too too hard. To use just one poly will, is much easier than using a primitive. So uh, we'll be uh, modeling uh, the iron helmet. Actually, I never did something like that before, uh, but I'm really looking to do that. It's iron helmet. It's great and it's awesome. A lot of details and anyway, I love the show. I love the series before like the cartoon, so uh, when I saw the blu blueprints uh, I decided I have to do that. So I never did this before, it will be like the first time I'm doing this. Uh, I tried it a few times just like okay like this, this, this and that, but I didn't did the wall model. This will be like my premiere too for doing that. So I I'm really looking forward to do that. <coughs> so I'm happy I found, uh, found them. And I hope you like the tutorial, like uh, I will like the learning uh, stuff. Okay, so uh, like I said before, uh, I found blueprints, I cut them in Photoshop. I will skip this tab be because I really just uh, got to the crop tool and one, two, three, and it was done. So nothing hard. So uh, I will place them f uh, to planes. So let's start uh, with the first plane. We need just one segment. You uh, don't have to name this. Really, we will just freeze this later. So no name. Let's press M. Let's go from Arc Design to Standard, Diffuse, Bitmap. Let's go with the front view. Keep attention to the ratio, like uh, every time you do anything using reference picture, because if you do something wrong here at the beginning, it will look good. Like it's okay. But let's say if you go like 5% to the side or to the length, uh, at the end you will be looking okay, it's looking like an egg, not, uh, it's not round. So just keep attention to that. I will di divide it uh, by 10 just to make it easier. So open, and let's place it here. So 81.4 and 66. Hit it on, place it there. Right click here. Drag it to the zero point, and here is the front view of the helmet. Yeah, it's looking great. Okay, uh, I'll be doing this in centimeters or really unit setup because it's my default settings. But you don't have to do that. Uh, you can use your own. So really up to you. Let's call this the front view. Copy it twice. This will be the back view. So copying is just dragging it somewhere. Nothing else. Now hold on shift, move it to the back, copy. So this will be the back. Place the back, as you can see. <coughs> and now this will be the side. So first of all, select the front view, rotate tool, snap tool. So by default you are rotating by 5 degrees. Hold on shift, rotate it by 90 degrees. OK, copy. Let's change the texture to side. Keep attention to this. OK, so 89.8. Move this to 0, 0, 0. It is, so it's fine. Still, there is a old texture, now it's the right one. Let's go to the back view here and just move it 
closer to the front view. Okay, so uh, all blueprints on the place. Let's go from realistic to shaded. Make this bigger, oh, full view. Select all, right click, object properties, freeze, show frozen in gray, uncheck. So we can't select that, but we can hide that. So if you can, uh, if you hit hide unselected, it's there. And we can start to model. So let's go to the front view. Press F4 to see the edges. Now here is just one edge. We can see that. So it's fine. Plane will start uh, with this part here. Oh, I will probably say uh, the helmet is divided in three main parts. Is this top part, which is something like this. Then is uh, this part uh, underneath the eyes, and the rest. But also this main part, which is the head, the jaws, the everything, is divided uh, between this part here, which is uh, also a different texture, and the rest. <coughs> But I will model this, or I will try to model this as one part, and then just uh, I will detach that or something. But let's start with this underneath the eyes. So I'll start from here, just dragging here a plane, doesn't matter how big, how small. I will change that to grey, and also. I'll name this to Iron Man, Iron Man, and I don't know. <coughs> ah, let's call it front. Right click, come to poly. I don't know, let's start with poly like this. Somewhere on this line. And on this line here. So, this will be our initial poly here. Probably a bit smaller, just a bit, and we can start from this point. So let's go to the left view, Z to zoom, and move it here. Now, <coughs> from the front view, select uh, this left view, and move that here. Press also all takes to see through, of course. We'll need that. So this is our initial shape, and from that uh, we start to model. So let's go up with that. Maybe a bit down. A bit more. Uh, this is fine. So let's go back to the front view, and now by holding shift and the edge selected, just let's go up. One, two, three times. Should be enough. Now, uh, I will probably move this a bit just to end here on this edge. <coughs> and now, from the left view, we need to move the side, um, yeah, the side police here, and also the next uh, police here. So, not the police, but the words. Let's select all on this side, just to know what we selected, and move them. So we know that it's this part, so now we can just select them. And we'll just move them to fit the line. Nothing more. Very simple. And also, keep attention that I'm moving it just in one direction. Now, if I'm moving it here just to left to the right, uh, I'm not uh, changing the position, which is here. Like this one. Now, select this one and move it here. And now I will s try to preserve the poly flow. So I will try that every poly will be the same length, like the poly before. <coughs> so, this is our starting point. Let's go to the front view. Let's go here. Now, here I will make connect and I will start dragging the polys this way. 
again uh, I will make them few <coughs> now I will change the position of them of course place that one there this one here this one a bit down this one probably somewhere here this one here just moving moving and moving nothing hard of course now select this edge birds let's go to the left view and drag them straight 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 here as you, can, as you can see we are on the edge of the back it's, we are there very fast but of course uh, it's very roughly right now select the next it should be somewhere here <coughs> Move this here just to preserve the polyfold which is here. Now back to the front view, next one. Something like this. Left view somewhere here. And also this one. So uh you're probably uh, looking now that I'm not placing there so much uh, verts to perfectly match the line. You don't need to do that, absolutely. You just need that everything else will be like okay. Because uh, later we will anyway apply Trubus Moto subdivision on this, so we don't need really uh, to have it perfectly copied. Surely we need that there will be enough space. <coughs> okay, let's start with this. So, something like that. Left view, first one. This one is a bit longer. So, here. Now, front view. Uh, actually, we can do it also like that. So, again, holding shift, we'll move this here. Now, let's go to vertex mode and using target weld, I'll weld this to this, this to that. Again, this here this here. So uh, this top and this one are aligned good, the rest is not, but that will fix a bit later. So far uh, we'll just try to make enough bodies to copy this line. That's, uh, that's our first goal here. So again. So uh, basically this, thing, this technique is just about moving stuff. Nothing else. And it's really not hard. You just need a bit practice to do that. And probably if you will uh, master this, you can do a car or anything else. <coughs> Very easily. Just by your own. You don't need any help, any tutorial, I think. Okay, let's do this, so this is some kind of main line which we need to copy or to follow. So be sure that you do that like me or try like me. Okay, now a bit repositioning. To preserve the polyflow to have enough distance between uh, the polys and other stuff like that. Okay. Now, select all these. Let's go to the left view, Z to zoom. Now, first of all, we'll uh, reposition these ones. So, this one is fine. Now, just keep moving to the left. Move that. Now, this one. And that one. Not qu quite uh, fast. Now let's select this two. Let's go to the left view and let's look. So one is there, one is there. Uh, 
So obviously they are a bit too near together. So what I will do, I will bet change the position of them. So now I will also uh, change this. And also did one. Actually, the rest will be probably fine, so don't worry about that. But you can play with that, of course, a bit. <coughs> okay, when we are here in this view, well, this here find to have one more poly so connect that now we can go here somewhere we can do here the bending a bit better oops and also here on the front view it should be fine maybe just move it a bit to the left Anyway, I think it will be fine that way. Or that way. Okay, uh, now let's continue in the left view poorly. So, with this line, let's select this and move it right here. Move it some somehow like this. Select this. Ring that. Connect. So we'll make here the bending a bit better than we had the shines before. Now select this one again. Touch the world. Can also a bit squeeze them together. Again, touch weld. And again. So uh, we are making basically the same all the time. Just moving the stuff from point to point. And so on. Now the last one. Select touch world. This one here. And this one somewhere here. <coughs> that this is good. That this is good. And now select this here and move it down. Somewhere here. So, uh, pretty easy, but we need to also to change everything uh, what we did before, also in the other view, of course. And uh, depends how mess or how many mess we did before. In that view, we will need to find our words and just move them step by step, like we was doing them, uh, moving them before. Now here should be two, two of them. Ah, this was the bad one. So, so this one here. Just move this one back to its place. <coughs> okay, so I think this is fine. Uh, probably you notice that I'm making it a bit bigger than it's uh, on the image. Yeah, that's that's fine. Don't, don't worry. Okay, uh, let's go to the left view. Here it's fine. In the front view, it's fine too. Uh, let's look on the shape. Now, it's probably better to look on it 
if it will be two-sided, so also on the other side. For that, let's go to the pivot. Let's just move the pivot here to the side. Side symmetry modifier. Flip. And also triple smooth. Two. Is a line. Olex, probably a four turning off. And let's look. Quite nice, just for one poly, starting point one poly, and we have this one. Nice and clean mesh. I will say uh, this technique is a bit amazing, as you can uh, see, you can do very quickly just with few, few polys. Okay. Uh, okay, so this is done. The basic shape, the rough shape. Later we will need to do there some thickness, some. Um, Edge tightening, also some details will go uh, uh, up, and so probably some tuning of the shape. I don't know, probably yes. But so far it's fine. As you as you could see, or as you can see by your model too, uh, it was quite uh, quick and nice. We even didn't need many polys to do that. It looks like it's crashed now, but using the triple smooth, which is our goal, is great. Uh, okay, let's go to the front view. So we have this one here. Uh, now we'll start with the top. The same procedure. Uh, we'll just create here a plane. Let's say this will be our starting shape. Let's call this Iron Man. Ah, oops, top. Turn the color again to gray. That's my favorite color, probably you know that. Right click, card poly, left view. Drag it here. Olix. And we can start from this poly here. Okay, this will be here our initial poly. So what we can do. Again, you can copy it up. How many polys? Uh, it depends. I'm more or less trying to keep the same distance between them. Of course, not every time. Uh, I can do that, but I'm trying to do my best. Let's go to the vert mode. We'll move this a bit. Here. Also this I uh, will just move down, put this a bit up, this should be fine. Ok, uh, left view, uh, Z to zoom, and now we just need to move them. So here is one, second and so on. No, so this one here, and we can move it somewhere here, even on the on this line. Okay, probably here a bit less. Back to front view, I don't know, I like this view. Now, we can select all in this row. And... Make this. Uh, we don't even have to fix this. Now, select the top, and make twice up. Like this, so as you can see, we are going according to the line. Uh, we can move this a bit. 
now hold on shift select so we will select something like a loop one second ending at this line now let's reposition so now we'll try to align everything I'm selecting this board together because the distance here should be the same everywhere now <coughs> this one we should align to this and this line should go straight at the end so just to keep or just to have enough space also here select these ones move them down to this And something like that. Trying to keep everything in some kind of flow without any necessary uh, pulleys and other stuff. And also keeping some distance between them. And of course, trying to make straight lines, which is the hardest part. Now, <coughs> we can select everything here on the left. Let's go to the left view, ironic, uh, and move everything. Now, as you can see, this bottom is already uh, moving here, which is good. Now, let's align the rest, just moving to the left. So again, I firstly move these ones here, like the main line. <coughs> I have a few left. <coughs> oh, sorry. Uh, let's go to the front view and see what. Oh, okay. So there are these ones. Left view. So uh, let's align the main lines. Then we'll align the rest. <coughs> Some are here. Now I don't remember aligning this, so this one is fine. Okay, that one I was aligning. Poly. Left view, this one is here. Was okay. So what I'm missing? Probably this one. Left view, yes. And this one already should be from this. Okay. So <coughs> we need to bring here some order. <coughs> and I need to cough. Sorry. But <coughs> the order I will bring from the bottom. Because I know how to align this because I have here uh, this guideline. And much easier to follow the polyflow using some polys which are actually really on the place where they should be then trying to move impossible okay uh, let's start with this so select what we can let's go to the left view And just move that. Nothing more. We're just moving. Keeping some kind of flow between the polys. That's all. That's all actually you need by this technique. The right uh, kind of flow. Good references. And a bit strong nerves. Because sometimes uh, you will just screw the model. Literally, and <coughs> by that I just have to keep going. Nothing, nothing else. <coughs> okay. 
Okay, so uh, this is the Alan line. Okay, we can move. Surely, what we will do is just moving this here. And now, all these will move to the left. Straight here. And now, uh, we will reposition them. So we copied everything just by holding shift and now we'll move them mm, back to position of course we can keep the polyflow should be actually a good idea here and also it will uh, give us some free space here at the end just this last word and the last will be here and actually this one should copy this shape so what I will do I will make it a bit bigger and also according to this so a bit uh, a small gap between them <coughs> and I will align everything to this line. Actually, uh, the gaps will be a bit uh, bigger later, and even we can, of course, change them later. So don't worry about anything. Okay. Now, again, the boring part. Let's select the first four. Let's go now to the front view and move them. And we should go somewhere here. If you see them, uh, you can select them. But if not, you have to go back here. Select them like me. and move them like this okay this is a bit out of shape let's go to the left view, ah this is fine <coughs> like this is fine, just perfect okay uh, <coughs> so uh, like this it should be fine now let's really check that so again front view I think the pivot move the pivot here And solve symmetry flip triple smooth to a four or the X perspective and let's look. <coughs> Okay, quite nice, huh? For the first time. Okay, so right now it's looking a bit more like a predator, predator from the Predator movie, The Mask. But I think later it will look really like the Iron Helmet. I'm counting with that, actually, of course. So, uh, <coughs> you know, I, I think I will not start because I will anyway forgot the things I would like to do later. But as you can see, uh, we'll proceed like this all the time. Just moving according to the reference picture. Of course sometimes we will need reposition few stuff, but uh, as you can see we don't need to make any smooth shapes because uh, it's actually doing for us true smooth. So we just need uh, the polyflow. Some space between the polygons of course and patience. So in the next part we'll start with this and I don't know, probably we'll do it the whole thing. I think 40 minutes should be enough for that. Uh, there uh, we should be a bit fair uh, about this back. 
because uh, if you saw any picture of Iron Man, the helmet of uh, Iron Man, you know that uh, like this is fine, but from this part it's a bit extruded. This part again. So uh, for us it's much easier to extrude up than down. So I would try, and I hope I will not forget uh, about that. I will try to model it according to this line. So I will just make it a bit more. So probably I will end somewhere here. And then I will apply the extrude. Or later I will just move this. One from them, but uh, I will really uh, try to do it a bit smaller than. Um, it's like here on the reference picture. And then uh, I will just resize it or what I want extrude. So, uh, <coughs> so I think I will end this. So I hope you liked the initial part. As you can see we have already some result, and it took us not long. Just it was very fast. Of course, again it's just a rough shape, but you should have some idea how we will proceed uh, later. So so far, thanks for watching. And I will see you in the next part. Bye bye.